Tony had about 20 cows before we got married 33 years ago. Tony's dad and mom, Louie and Nadine Madalena, gave us six pair as a wedding gift. That was our start in the cow business. Ranching has been a great way for us to make a living and raise our two kids, Sam and Annie. We all worked hard and played hard together, and we always laughed a lot. Our kids helped run the ranch from the time they could ride a horse and do chores. They've graduated college and moved, but we call them from time to time to help brand calves and ship cows, and they are always there when we need them. Ranching has many challenges. Sometimes it's the same struggles year after year, like weather conditions, cattle prices, and for us, old equipment always breaking down. Some of our new challenges have to do with water. We are always in fear of losing our adjudicated water rights. Also, four years ago, the state mandated a water quality monitoring program called the Irrigated Land Regulatory Program. The state has no money to fund this program, so the entire burden of the cost for sampling, analysis, and reporting has all been put on the farmers and ranchers. Ag community members have spent over $200,000 that could have better been spent in our local economy. Everyone appreciates open space and the rural lifestyle that ranchers and farmers provide. Without water, agriculture would not be sustainable. Wildlife habitat would be diminished, and so much of the recreation we enjoy would be eliminated. Ranchers without water would be forced to sell, and that would result in losing our rural communities. Sierra Valley is, and always has been, in agriculture. Our ranching community is united in protecting our business and way of life. With such a small percentage of people in agriculture, compared to the large number of people in urban areas, we need to educate policymakers how important our water rights are to our land and our business. Nobody, absolutely nobody, can survive without agriculture, and agriculture cannot survive without water. State policymakers need to understand the impact it is putting on our community. We take care of the land and the water, or it won't take care of us. From my front porch, all I see are lush green pasture land with horses and cattle grazing. Just up from our backyard are meadows that hug the mountain where we've seen deer, bear, and bald eagles. At night, all you hear are the two creeks our house sets between and the crickets. I never take this beauty for granted and will do my best to pass it on to the next generation.